Welcome back to Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, Walking with Purpose. And today, I have one of the most crucial aspects to talk about regarding men. And guys, if this is the only video you will ever commit to watching on my YouTube channel or wherever I put this content at, this is the one you're not going to want to miss because this is the one that is going to either define you as a real man or it's going to define you as uh, something you need to work on. Seriously need to work on if you really want to survive, especially in today's crazy modern world that we all live in. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, the topic of today's uh, video is what is a man's purpose? One more time. What is a man's purpose? Now, <laughs> hopefully most men, by the time they reach their early 30s, or maybe even their early 20s to mid-20s, will understand what their true purpose is. But because of what I've been noticing, hanging around the online forums nowadays where most men congregate at to get information such as Reddit and uh, maybe even Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, etc. Because of what I have seen men write and talk about, <laughs> most young men really don't have a clue. And some men, even as they get into their you know, 30s and even 40s still really don't have a clue what their purpose truly is. And until you as a man figure out what your purpose is and start living your purpose in every aspect of your life that you do, okay, including what you do for a living, you're not going to be fulfilled completely in your life and you're going to struggle with many aspects of your life uh, regarding work and even your personal life when it regards women. Now, so let's start off and talk about what isn't a man's purpose. So that way you guys can get a better idea of what truly is your purpose and what you should start focusing on if you already haven't done so, right? Okay, let me tell you what isn't your purpose. Having a woman in your life, dating a woman, or being married to a woman is not your purpose as a man. Nothing wrong with being in a relationship with a woman, dating a woman, even marrying a woman, being happily married, etc., right? But that is not your purpose. The biggest mistakes, or the biggest mistake, which is what I'm trying to say, that most men make nowadays when it comes to dating women is they make the woman their purpose, right? And what guys are not understanding is that women are extremely intuitive. Now, some guys like myself are fortunate to have very good intuition at the level that women have natural intuition, but every single woman out there biologically and naturally has incredible intuition. And where did that stem from? Well, if you go back to the days of traditionalism, before women were liberated and they were, and before they became independent like they are today and before they started working, and in those days, before they even got their equal rights, they were dependent on a man for survival, for everything. So women would use that intuition, that instinct to seek out and try to lock down the strongest man possible, the strongest man physically to protect her and the family for any da from any danger, okay? Uh, and the strongest man emotionally as well. Got a person coming over here, so I'm just gonna move off to the side. I am hoping that today we don't uh, have a problem running into too many crazies, but you never know when you do these things, you know, out in public while doing a walk, that's what happens, right? So women 
are seeking a man that, where they were seeking back in the days a man that's physically strong to protect them and the family from any uh, any danger that would come their way. Also, a man that's emotionally strong, okay? Because women are gonna, you know, women even back then and still to this day are emotional beings, and they need a strong masculine man to offset their emotions, right? Okay. And so, you know, a man's purpose, if it's if it's made to be the woman, okay, it's going to give the woman the wrong idea that you do not have those traits. If you, as a man in this modern world, make it all about the woman and you drop everything for the woman all the time, and you focus all of your energy on your woman instead of your own purpose, women will pick up on that. And they're going to see you as a guy that is dependent on them for survival, right? Maybe dependent on them for emotional support or, or and stuff like that, right? Which is what women are looking for in you. Right? In essence, if you make a woman, you know, your purpose, you're behaving more like the woman should be behaving, right? And if you behave that way, it confuses the woman. And in order to offset that, uh, that, that uh, opposite polarity, the woman starts to behave in more masculine ways, which is what you don't want her to behave um, in, in that way, right? No guy wants to date a woman that exudes more masculine energy than feminine energy, right? It's a big turnoff. What attracts us men to women is their sweet, soft, kind, and nurturing side, right? You know, their melancholy side. Like we, we're not attracted to women that get in our face and want to kick our butts or put up, uh, or, or women that put up their dukes and stuff like that. You know, we, we like sweet loving, caring, innocent, and docile woman, women, which is what I'm trying to say, right? Okay. So your purpose as a man is what defines you. Let me share with you what my purpose is so you can understand what defines me. My purpose is helping people better their lives. That's why I do what I do out here on YouTube and other parts of social media. I'm a business and personal relationship coach, also known as a success coach, and more so known as a life coach. That is my purpose. That is what I focus the majority of my energy on. Not the woman, I'm seeing a great woman, and we have a great relationship. We've been together for three months now. Hopefully it, it goes a distance, you know. Um, but when I'm not with her, right, when I'm not with her, I see her once or twice a week because we just, you know, started seeing each other three months ago and, you know, we're still trying to figure out logistics and all that stuff, right? And we're just, you know, going at a decent pace. But I don't sit there all day, every day, you know, um, focusing on her. Now, we may text throughout the day. I keep her in the loop. She loves my coaching business. And she loves what I do, and she wants me to keep her in the loop, so I do that. Well, I'll send her a couple of quick text messages and send her some links to some videos I put out or live streams I'm doing. Um, and she may ask me, how's your day going? I'll say, it's great. And then I'll ask her how her day is going. And she'll, and I, and, and I, I, I butchered that. She'll ask me how my day is going. I'll say, it's great. I'll ask her how her day is going. And she'll say, it's great. And then guess what? I go right back to my purpose, working on my business and furthering, you know, what I want to accomplish, you know, for myself, right? Now, you may say that this sounds selfish, right? It's actually not selfish because here's the thing, okay? Women are attracted to a man's strength. Women are also attracted to a man's purpose. 
They're attracted to what a man makes out of himself independent of the relationship she has with that man. So if you're a guy that uh, is with a woman and you're so overly enamored and you put her on a pedestal and you focus more of your energy on her than your purpose, then I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, sooner than you think, the woman will start to lose respect in you. She'll fall out of love with you slowly. And eventually she may either, you know, just leave you and find somebody else or she'll line up a replacement and cheat on you. And then once that replacement actually uh, pans out, then she'll leave you and uh, go off with that other guy. Now, that's not the right way to do it, but many women do it that way because they just don't want to be alone. There are a lot of women out there that um, just can't be alone and can't be without a guy. Um, and I'm not saying that they're necessarily women that um, don't have their stuff together, but it's just not the healthy way to do it, right? You know, if it's not working out with someone, you let them know as soon as possible. Um, you let them go as uh, best as possible, as respectfully, professionally, and maturely as possible. And, uh, and then you go and you find someone that's going to more so resonate with you. Okay? So, um, focus on your purpose, guys. You know, integrate your purpose into your career. There are a lot of guys that either went to college and got a degree and started working a job that they ended up not really liking, right? Or they are still working it and they don't like that job, right? Um, you know, maybe they realize it's just not really what their purpose is. Or even some guys uh, that, that uh, you know, got into a, a trade or something, right? And they didn't go to college, but they got into a trade. They're working a job and it's paying the bills, but they're not really fulfilled by that job. Well, here's the thing. Your job is, as a man and what you do as a living to make money, make income as a man is like one of your primary per reasons of, of, of your purpose, right? And if you're not happy with what you do for a living, no matter how much money you make, right? It's just gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna come off to everyone that you're not happy with your job and even the woman that you're with, it's gonna come off that you're not happy. And uh, it's, just gonna, it's just gonna make things go south, right? In that case, nowadays with the internet and YouTube, which is where this video is at, and other social media outlets, you can start your own business. You know, maybe start a coaching business like, like I do, right? Maybe start a, you know, uh, YouTube channel. And uh, let's, let, let's say you're working for a plumbing company, right? And you want to start your own business. Uh, because you just don't want to work for anyone else. And you feel like you're not getting paid as much from this company or not being respected, right? You can start a YouTube channel and share plumbing tips um, you know, on YouTube, right? And guess what? People love those how-to videos, right? You keep creating those videos while you work your current job and you suck it up as best as possible until your YouTube channel takes off and you start making some money. And then guess what? Now, your YouTube channel has taken off. You're making money. Now you can quit your day job and start your own plumbing business and use the money that you hopefully save from your day job and the extra money you made on YouTube, growing a YouTube channel, sharing tips on this, to start your own plumbing business. And you're gonna be so much happier because then you will be truly living your purpose. Maybe you enjoy plumbing, maybe you don't. If you do enjoy plumbing, you know, uh, maybe you don't enjoy working for someone else, but you like the, the, the job, right? Part of your purpose as a man is creating your own thing and not working for another man or woman nowadays. We'll throw in women because it's the modern world and I get that right. 
But when when we're just speaking about men, right? Part of your purpose as a man is working for yourself and creating something for yourself and not necessarily working for someone else and, you know, just getting a paycheck, right? Because in actuality, yes, you're getting a paycheck, but that person you're working for is making the majority of the money. And you as a man want to make it your purpose to make the majority of the money and to, to, to create your own thing. So that's what I wanted to share today about what a man's purpose truly is. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment below and I'll get back to you within 24 hours or less. And if I need to do a follow-up video on this at some point, I will. It's a very important topic. With that being said, I want to thank you all for taking the time to view this video. Another video is coming to this channel soon. Please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select the notifications, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.